So here we are in San Luis Community Centre or Castle View Community Centre. We uh, set up the pop-up cafe in August 2015 and uh, it's running weekly on Mondays and folk can come along and we cook them three courses and uh, they make donations for the food and the food we buy the ingredients. Um, sometimes it's produce that's um, wild picked or from local farms, but quite often we buy it from local shops and, uh, so that it's accessible for folk. And uh, as part of the program, they gain an SVQ in working together and they do Rehis food hygiene program and uh, food and uh, nutrition qualification as well. For the last session, for the last Monday, the group will be cooking and running the cafe all by themselves without me. So I'm looking forward to dining here. Today we are making soup, uh, curried parsnip soup and a veggie lasagna. So we've got folk here and they're chopping away with two different pots, one for the lasagna and one for the soup. And the soup has um, parsnips, carrots, onions, garlic um, and loads of spices that go in after it's all fried up. Uh, and then we'll put the liquid in uh, maybe add some stock if, uh, if the flavour hasn't already come out of the vegetables. And, um, and yeah. So um, this is Robert and uh, Robert and I will be cooking today. Um, this is all of the chopped veg, uh, onions, carrots, parsnip uh, for the, today's soup. So uh, we're going to put some, a few glugs of oil in. Uh, and then we'll fry that, fry those vegetables gently or sweat them, sweat the flavour out of them. Um, and then we'll add in uh, spices once the onions are cooked. Uh, and then we'll add in uh, liquid and boil it away and then whiz it up at the end. And the chunks need to be of a certain size so that they cook evenly. So, you can see the difference between the two parts. Now uh, Robert has uh, sweated the vegetables and uh, so the onion is cooked or see-through translucent and then we add spices, cook them for a few minutes and then we add liquid. And I've got a whole variety of spices here to make our curried parsnip soup. Uh, I've got organic brown cumin which is one of my favourites. And uh, we've got some tandoori curry spice. Um, um, we'll put a little bit of ground fenugreek. And of course, plenty of salt and pepper. And uh, then we'll um, stir it up, stop it from sticking to the bottom. And, uh, and then add in boiling water. And uh, my cooks, there's a, a tablespoon and a half of ground cumin, and then this is smoked paprika, which is basically barbecued and dried red peppers, uh, and it's and, and, and smoked. They've got the smoky flavour from the from the barbecuing, and I think, I think it's one of the most amazing things that you can have in the kitchen. And, uh, uh, tins of tomatoes, uh, which will mean that we're desperately scraping the bottom to stop it from burning. Some uh, tomato puree, so we'll put in a whole, a whole tomato puree, and then we'll taste it. Uh, we'll put in some herbs, we'll taste it, and maybe put in some more tomato puree. It's the same kind of texture, isn't it? It's going to splash, isn't it? Maybe we'll screw it over. It's almost 10 pounds for 25. I'm trying to what brand you buy. Are you on to wash up this week? Yeah.
fresh herbs from the garden outside, uh, rosemary and uh, oregano or marjoram. So I'm just picking out the, the tough stalks and then I'll chop it finely. We'll add the other tomato puree. It's not quite there. And maybe a bit more salt. What do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll let those um, dried herbs do their thing, and then we might even have to add some more of that. Um, I can't remember if there are any dried herbs. Get lots of butter in. We'll get the leeks almost cooked. Yeah. And then we'll um, add in the flour. Um, and that's for the table. Get the right texture. Uh, you just plain flour you use. Yeah, just plain flour. You can use bread flour. Down the small ring. Right? We'll turn. So the the it's just basically the top couple of centimeters. Stages. Yeah. So we'll we'll do that. We just so if we give that a stir, okay. and then ideally we wait for it to boil, bubble again, and then we'd add some honey. Right. That's right again. Not sure. Okay. Do you want to pop um, a layer on here then? And then, uh, yeah, I could go in the oven because it's a bigger group today, so it's possible that um, it's possible we'll need it. And actually, it can drip on the one below, which hopefully isn't going to drip much. Um, should we get some soup out? That can go in the wet. 
These are pears poaching with uh, some ginger matchsticks and um, cinnamon that we've split down the length so that when we put them on the plate we can decorate them with bits of ginger and cinnamon. There's a sort of tricky balance between them going really soft and flooping uh, or and just getting them so that they're not quite raw. Um, so I would say about 25 minutes, 20 minutes or something like that. So um, the folk are just, uh, we're going to start putting the main course out soon. So what we want to do, just to make our lives more difficult, is when they cook, we'll put them on a tray and we'll keep this boiling so it reduces down. We'll put some more sugar in it. Just so it's, a, we'll try and get some thickness. But it might... So... If we did that, you get four out of this, and then six this way, that would be 24 people, which I think is quite a good number. 28 and then, got, then. And then, well, probably another. Yeah. That, yeah. and then we do divide that into three. Does that make it that's you know, basically the way? So we're going to put that on one end, try and get a bit of height, but that's quite hard. Uh, and then, yeah, and then, well, I'll make one for myself. And then you could just sort of lean some tomato, and some salad, kind of on the side, and again, try and get a bit of height. And a bit of colour. Just like that, basically. I'm not going to eat that. Thank you. Okay. At the moment we need ten. We've got one soup. Yes, we need another soup as well, please. Just one soup. Yeah. Sounds good. Your turn. Which is the garden right about time.